Hi friends. Um, it's me. I'm the problem. Um, anyway, uh, this past weekend was the San Francisco Pin Show. Whoop. And I went with some lovely people and met some other lovely people and had a great time. And of course, I got some stuff. So that's exciting, right? I didn't buy that much actually. And spoilers, I didn't buy any pens. What? Um, but let's see what I did get. So the there was a show ink by Colorverse. And in order to get it, you had to do like this scavenger hunt type thing where you got signatures or stamps or whatever. And then if you were one of the first 200 people to do that, you got a bottle. So I had help and I got a bottle of this. So Colorverse, Golden Gate Bridge. The thing that I think is like funny about this is there was a horrible day in 2020 where it really looked like that outside, y'all. Like, the sky was orange. It was dark all day, like, nighttime dark. Well, let's say evening time dark. Horrible. But anyway, um, so I have this, Color vs. Golden Gate Bridge. It's not really my color, but I'm going to share it with people. And also, I mean, I had to. Then... A small ink maker whose inks you've seen here before, I love, was there. Also, my nail polish is, like, coming off. Sorry. Anyway, and they had a show special ink. So Kiwi Inks was there, and they had a San Francisco pin show color. So, I mean, of course I got it. I love Kiwi Inks. So, I got that. And, y'all, we're almost at the end of my haul. Just so you know. I hate the word haul. Ugh, I hate myself for using it. I got Ink Vent, Deck the Halls. Amanda made me do it. Her love for this ink made me just go, like, I'm going to get a bottle. Sight unseen, I got a bottle. I don't like these bottles. But I hope I like the ink. And last but not least, so y'all may remember, gather around. I bought myself something. I'm getting it. So I had to walk AFK. Well, I'm not at the K. I had to walk AFD away from desk. I bought myself a pen case. And I was like, this is it. If my collection outgrows this case, I'll have to get rid of pens. Then I did Simone's video of the and Simone and Leon and like I was like no I'll just get in a storage anyway so I had this Galen leather 40 pin case in the um, navy and I love it I love it so much blue's my favorite color That pin case is full, everyone. And y'all, oh, this smells so good. Galen came out with a new color. It's not gonna show up right, cause it's teal. It's shark's teal, y'all. If you know shark's teal, oh, and look, oh, it goes with this card. So I have another 40 pen case. And I don't have enough pens to fill it. Look at it. Oh, it smells so good too. Anyway, so. Oh, and I got these. I'll show you those. 
so here's, that's it. Everybody, this is everything I got at the SF Pin Show. I hope. Wore a mask the whole time, so I hope that's the only thing I got. We got, um, Rubato pin. These pins were gorgeous. I didn't get one. Simona from Simone gave me this sticker that says, Don't trust an ink swatch you didn't make. I love it. We got the Flax Los Angeles. Um, made these, gave us these stickers. These look like little whippets to me, maybe greyhounds. Um, I didn't get anything from Darrell Pens, but they looked really cool, so I got their card. And I got the San Francisco International Pen Show sticker from Rickshaw. I think this wasn't this year's sticker. I mean, they had one this year that was, like, super orange. And I'm sorry, my orange-loving friends, that I didn't get one of those to give away. But I love this. It's so, like, flower child. San Francisco's got the bridge. I drive over this bridge all the time these days. So... Anyway, these are my modest collection of things. I feel like I showed restraint, right? But I also have some coloring cards, various writing implements with which to swatch some inks. I think that's, oh, and I just knocked my lamp. Uh, so I think this is a good plan. I also have, of course, my Hobonichi. Um, let's go to today. We're going to go to this week. Let's watch them here. We're almost time for 30 inks. I think I'm going to do that. I'm going to probably try and get ahead. Because I got stuff going on in my life, you know? I got stuff. We gotta cut this. Do I have scissors? Oh. This is my rotary cutter that I use for paper right now. Lest you think I'm ruining my sewing implements with paper. Okay, which one do we want to see first? Well, Deck of the Halls is Shimmer, so it's last. I think this is the right order, the order that I revealed them to you. Again, sorry about the, I don't even want to call it a manicure. It's it's on like, like almost a week. Even. You know. You know. This is a caution. So I'm going to call this Golden Gate Bridge. There's something in the nib. I forgot how to write a G. Part way through writing it. I'm still not sure I got it right. Does that ever happen to any of you? How many of you have seen the Golden Gate Bridge in person? That's a good question. It is neither golden nor a gate. But I can verify that it is a bridge. I forgot how to write.
It's late. It's not that late. It's late. It's after 10. That's late. I'm allowed to think that's late. Dear Colorverse, I'm judging you. I think rather than use my automatic pen, I'll just use this. So to me, this is not the right color for the Gold Gate Bridge. It's too red and not orange. Ooh, ooh, but look at did I did I drip or is this like um I did a bad thing. But look at it's got some nice gold sheen on my hand. Let's hope that comes out in the writing. <laughs> Okay. Friendos of mine who want a sample, hit me up in the comments. Then we have <clears throat> the Kiwi Inks San Francisco Pin Show 2023. Um, y'all, I probably have an ink this color. Ask me if I care. Answer, I don't. Okay, I'm writing the rest of this with the other. Can't be bothered. <laughs> Can't be bothered. I did it again. Everybody did it again. Thanks. I got it on my desk. I did it again. Oops, everyone, oops. I did it again. You're welcome. This is a saturated ink. For real. I'm angry with myself for this. But it also I have no one else to be angry with. And last deck the halls.
It's kind of funny to be buying a Christmas ink in August, but here we are. I feel like this was one of Amanda's standout inks from Inkvent. She also, I know, liked the apple one, whatever it was called. Maybe that olive one. This is all based off of memory from when she was doing this back in the before time, whenever that was. Okay, it was December, obviously. Anyway, I'm going to stop now. Um... I'm going to call it 2022 because that's what it was. So this is chameleon, everybody. Chameleon. I lost my... This doesn't look like Boughs of Holly. I just want to let you know that. In case you're thinking deck the halls with Boughs of Holly, fa la 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 this looks nothing like deck the halls or fa la 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 It is, however, beautiful. So we will forgive it for its mis misnomer. Um... I got, I've gotten stuff everywhere, including places it's supposed to be, but also places it shouldn't be. Um, close the ink. So, we should let these dry a bit, but look, they're already drying on the Tamora River paper. Look it, would you just stop? Okay, hold on. While we have a moment, let's put these away because they're just not stopping and having a, a problem. And we'll let these dry for a minute while we look at what we're going to do with our pen cases. What do we think of that plan? And I love, I kind of love and hate that I keep saying we when it's just me here alone. But, so, something the eagle-eyed among you may have noticed is that in, in this pen case, I have things by Maker, but also, so over here, these are my German pens. So we have Pelican, Lamy, this is Faber-Castell, uh, and Caveco. Here we have mostly hand-turned pins from the U.S. with my PSP, uh, wrong ebonite, my Santini Italia breaking the mold. And then over here, I just had to reorg because I was full. We have... Um, like the mishmash, my Japanese pens, my Bennu, a couple Franklin Kristoff that didn't fit, though I think they belong with these. And then we start the Twisbees. Um, I had to take all my goes out; they don't, they didn't fit. And then we have this other Bennu and Ecos. And also my one 580. Then I have a more another different case. 
that has the pins that I'm like, mm, I don't really use you. And or you're less expensive. This is a great case that my um, friend Phil gave me. And I one thing I like about it is it's smaller. So if I want to take a, a smaller selections of pin with pins with me, I can. Um, so it's fantastic for that. And it's it's really lovely. I've loved it. So in here we have um, pins that have sentimental value for me. Uh, a couple pins that I got for free. And then pins that I like but don't use enough in my little fat man. And then these are the, and then over here, ones that I'm like, I don't know if I'm going to keep those. So I got to figure out what I'm going to put in new pin case. Oh, little fat man fell. That's what it was, was called on, on um, Amazon, by the way, which is why I call it that. So I'm inclined. <coughs> To put my hand turned pins in here. My, well, I mean, are all of them mostly hand turned pins? To put my, like, you know, you know what I mean. Stop giving me a hard time. You know? Okay. So we have this beaut from Newton Pins. It's snug. Let's put it one over. I like that better. I got my three. From Walltown. This looks really good against this. Here's my three from Walltown. My Catsburg, my Lumley, and my Watts. I'm having a little bit of like regret for not buying some stuff that I saw at the show, but y'all, I didn't need it. This is my. Uh, Something about cherries from the Eaton Apple. I'm blanking on this. Well, now I feel bad. I love it, too. You'll have seen the video. It's an abalone one. If I remember, I'll say. My... One from Jonathan Brooks and Mermaid Tears. This is Catsburg. My one from Woodshed and Mermaid Tears. Wait, did I have this wrong? Little Pens. That's what this one is. little pins and then I think the other ones that could tentatively go here but I feel like they don't actually belong are my Franklin Kristoff Chris and I the reason I feel like they don't belong is because they're not quite small pin makers in the same way that all these are I think what we could do is go like that There we go. So these are the first ones in here. And I think I like it. So we'll see what ends up happening. How I end up using this pin case. Um, I'll put my Santini in here. The one thing I've been thinking of. Oh, I'll tell you this. I did try a pin that I liked. So I wanted to try the Pilot Custom 912 with the... Um, the different nibs so I, I checked out the um, soft fine no excuse me the soft medium and I tried the FA and I tried the BB was it course anyway the um, soft medium was brilliant I loved it for me loved 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 it for me uh, the FA, it felt like the feed couldn't keep up with the increased uh, ink flow that that flex gave to the nib. I was actually surprised by how much flex it had, given that it's a modern pen and not a vintage flex. But 
So I am thinking it'd be nice to get a, a pilot with a soft medium. I liked that nib. Um, but anyway, so we'll see. Maybe one day. No hurry. Now let's look at these swatches. Look at these swatches. If you're over here thinking, wow, this struggle is real for Maria, you're right. So first up we have the Colorverse Golden Gate Bridge. And this is honestly pretty red. Like even a pinky red, which is not the color of the Golden Gate. It has this like old gold slash green sheen around it. Here it is on the cream to more river paper in my weeks still is like pinkish so it's a beautiful color but to me it's not right to be called golden gate bridge um i'm of course particular y'all i see it like all the time um next up kiwi san francisco pin show this reminds me of um is it bioluminescence by uh Van Diemen's. So it's like a greeny, tealy black with the sheen on it that is like, I'm going to say it's like an eggplant color. And here it is in the Tamar River where the sheen is like, kapow! Beautiful. And last but not least, Deck the Halls. beautiful when is manda ever wrong about purple right she's even right about the inks that call themselves purple but are not purple and this inks that don't call themselves purple but are so here's deck the halls it's um kind of reminds me of naturno viola but that's like off the top of my head and i haven't looked at it recently but with a beautiful shimmer and here on the Timor River, strangely, it's cooler looking. <laughs> Find that funny. But that's all the stuff. Thanks for hanging out with me while I blathered on about the San Francisco Pin Show. It was truly a delight. Um, I, I went there with uh, Mandby from Ink Splat. And, um, and we met up with... Simona from Simone and Jana. Wait, Jana. I, I feel like I'm not saying your name right now. And now I'm like, did I even get your name right at all? And now I'm having anxiety about it. <sighs> I'm sorry if I got your name wrong. And there were other people that I said hi to who I've forgotten right now because it's late. And I feel like I shouldn't have even started this part. Like I should just cut all this out. But you know me, I don't edit. So like, <sighs> what are we going to do? Anyway, that's it for me. I hope whenever you're watching this, you're having a wonderful day. I'm going to go wash ink off my hands. Take care of yourselves. Bye.